Ghana is trending. Eh? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so, so, so good to hear that or to read that Ghana is being mentioned in the international media and everywhere. It is not, it's not because of, any, of, of bad news. No, 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 no. It's of a good essence. Of course, the vice president of the United States is in Ghana and it's in, she's doing a three-nation African tour. And it's, it's so, so, so fascinating. Very beautiful. Yes, the beautiful Kamala Harris is in Ghana, the vice president of the United States. If we were to be the president, we would have said, oh, the Putus is in Ghana. But now since she is the VIP, so is the V Putus is in, a, is in Ghana for a three-day tour. And from here, she's going straight to Tanzania. From Tanzania, she's going to Zambia. But one thing that is very fascinating, I just want us, you and I, you know, when we come, we talk about these things and, you know, uh, it is not for nothing, of course. If the vice president of the United States is coming to Ghana and she, she's making a very bold statement, you and I need to do some interrogation, okay? Now, what she is saying is that I came to resolve African challenges. Ah, I came to resolve African, African challenges. Hmm. Madam Vice President, African challenges. We in Africa, our challenges are more than a mountain. If there is any better word that can describe our challenges, I would have mentioned that to you. But <laughs> in any case, you subscribe to the Spotlight. Don't forget, subscribe to our page. It is very, very important. Click on the, on the, the notification bell as well and then be part of this big family. Now, back to the issue. The, the Vice President of the United States is saying that she came purposely. Her mission, her vision, and the, the reason why she had flown all the way from the United States to Ghana is to come and help us, or better, to come and resolve and solve our problems. Hey, Mama, Kamara Harris, I understand you were born on Tuesday. So, Aunt Abena Harris. <laughs> Ghana problem, Ghana alone cry a problem you cannot solve, <laughs> let alone Africa problem. Maybe, maybe the media, media people have twisted the story here and there. But you see, one thing I like of your coming is the fact that there, there is some nice way you have, you know, tilted the focus to stand on these very four core areas. And that is number one, deepening the bilateral relationship between Ghana or the African country and that of the U.S. That's number one. And focusing on economic, you know, issues, economic development. That is so, so, so good. That one I understand. Yes, of course. You are meeting our president, uh, Nana Akufuado, yes, today. And you know one thing he will tell you. He will tell you that we are making a strong economic restructuring and we want you to help us to get this uh, bilateral loan or the, you know, IMF support of three billion United States dollars to help us to restructure our economy and all that. These are some of the things our president will tell you. Hmm. But you see, let's go back. You see the, the amount of money Ghana has been taking and we even know that you are even coming to give us $139 million. Ah. Now, all these things, if your third point of you know, coming to Africa, which is food security and the rising youth population and the, that unemployment stuff that is so uh, uh, you know, attached to it is not resolved, then your coming is meaningless. In fact, your coming is indeed meaningless if all these pointers are not dealt with, with all the support you are coming to give to the country and everything. So please, tell your Ghanaian counterparts and that of the Tanzanian and the Zambian uh, presidents that my flying to Africa is meaningless unless it is linked with all the monies we are giving you. Use it for their proper use, proper intention, proper thing. Aha, uh -huh. that one, everybody will clap for you. Until that, mm, 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 mm. but Charlie, 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 you have you. Have you seen the picture that is trending on the social media? The uh, uh, flagstaff house. You see the Jubilee house. The pictures is Mama Camilla coming 
coming to tell the president to sign the LGBTQ plus 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 plus. Because the, the picture we see, me, the color I see, I see some rainbow. Or somebody is saying it's a Ghan, Ghanaian colors and that of the US colors merging together. Well, me, there, I have my own understanding of if, if that is not true, you go to the comment section and tell me. Maybe you see a different color. But for me, I see some colors, colors mixing up and down. It's as if the, the LGBTQ plus plus LJYX Chinese, all of them plus 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 is coming home. But it's not coming home. This is not its home. It belongs to somewhere. We are here to talk about the right thing. And that is what I'm saying. Maybe you have a different opinion to this. Please share it on the comment section. And don't forget to indeed subscribe. We want you to be part of this big family. Subscribe to the Spotlight and let's be a very big family. So before I go, I need your comments because Mama Kamala Harris, she is in Ghana and it's a good news. She will come and splash some cash to us, but the youth must have that benefit because you mentioned that as part of your pointers when you were talking to us, that rising youth unemployment and the, the youth population is alarming and you got to help us. So I say, Akwaba, the VP of uh, United States, welcome to Ghana and welcome to Africa as well. We're going to give you the warm embrace as our hospitality requires. Ah, enjoy your stay in Africa. Bye-bye. <laughs>